Operation Speak is underway at UNLV. Mary Jane Beliaza explains why a group of Filipino students is trying to bring the native language of the Philippines to campus. Language, it's an important part of one's identity and culture. For the Philippine X American Student Association at UNLV, learning Tagalog, the official language of the Philippines, has become a mission. Jax Milan is the cultural and political affairs chair. He says it's not just about language, but preserving and being proud of your culture. When immigrating, a lot of that um, comes with assimilating, and so a lot of people had to assimilate and be accustomed to the norms and values of the U.S. culture, and so part of that is losing part of your language. and especially Tagalog. According to UNLV's website, 18 percent of faculty and staff identify as Asian or Pacific Islander, and UNLV has over 16 percent of students who identify as Asian or Pacific Islander, too. I think um, this is a very important step towards inclusivity. This is why President Lior Dumanlang says it's important to have Tagalog language classes at UNLV. UNLV has one of the fastest growing um, like Philippine, uh, Filipino communities, um, like in the student um, kind of world. So um, it's kind of surprising as to why we don't have a Tagalog course already um, that you could take for foreign language credits. Over the past several months, the students have been campaigning to get the word out by speaking to administrators, committees, and the community to get involved. Part of that step to gaining that sense of culture again, that sense of language, is to you know have this Tagalog course available to um, not just people who are from the Philippines, but also to anybody, so that like people aren't, are also learning about our culture as well. If you would like to get involved, we have a link to the petition and community surveys on our website. The UNLV Department of World Languages currently offers courses in Spanish, Latin, French, German, Greek, Italian, Chinese, and Japanese.